On every planet in the galaxy, you'll find the flux, a powerful, magical energy. Here on Achillean, we call it the breath. Flux is so strong that it had to be banned, except in galactic football, the most spectacular sport in the universe. But 15 years ago, a mysterious explosion rocked Achillean, swept the breath away, and destroyed our chances in the Galactic Football Cup. 15 years without a decent team, and nothing but snow and ice. Now, hope lives again. Young, new players to revive the breath of Achillean. Our fate is in their hands. Galactic Football. Last time on Galactic Football. My team is training hard and looking forward to the match with complete calm. You've missed that frame three times. What is up with you? There they are. Mom! Micro Eyes, it's been so long. Hey, my baby! Celine! Alcarine! Daddy! Celine, you're really pretty. Whatever Blaylock asked you to do, don't do it. He'll kill your father, no matter what happens. Blaylock is a prominent member of our organization. I need concrete proof against him. We'll have it soon. Rocket, Kira and I have decided to start all over again. This is all happening thanks to you, Rocket. There you are, dear. Look, I just landed some more contracts for... Mom, listen. I'm a football player, not a supermodel. You mean that Rocket came to see you? Yes. And I can tell you that that young man's got spunk. You haven't said a word all evening. I don't feel like talking. Jock is involved, but he's pretending not to know anything. Blaylock is using him as a bargaining chip to get the Metaflux back. Clamp. Jock is Sonny's son. If you want to see your father ever again, you'll have to do a little something for me. It's your choice. Seconds. You slept 30 seconds this time. It's always the same nightmare, friend. I can just tell I'm not going to sleep a wink before the final. With the amount of sleep you've had since you were born, you would think it wouldn't make much difference, would you? You just don't get it. I sleep so much because I need to. You want me to sing you a lullaby? I'm going to be a sieve. A real sieve. I'll make us lose. That's exactly the kind of move I'd like to make during the final, but it's a lot easier to say than do. Makaras, you shouldn't be in my room. If my father caught us... What? We're not doing anything wrong. We're just watching some football. I'll show you another play. Maybe we could talk about something else, huh? There's more to life than just football. That's funny. I knew someone who used to say that all the time. There's more to life than just football. Must be someone nice. Of course. It was me. <laughs> Zoline, are you alone in there? Zoline! Yeah, of course I am, Papa. I'm just watching TV. A comedy. A very funny comedy. It sounds like it. Hey, don't go to sleep too late, dear. You have to help me serve these silly greenhorns tomorrow. They keep asking me to pull miracles just because they're in the final of some ridiculous sport. It's just my luck. Okay, Dad. He hasn't spoken a word to me since I kissed him.
It's like he's trying to avoid me. You have to accept it, Tia. Boys just aren't cut from the same pattern as us. We'll never be able to understand them. Who can tell which flux the couple carry after the final match two days from now? The Shadow Smog or the Snow Kid's Breath? These two teams have been neck and neck in the last few qualification rounds, and their players have never been better. Who can tell at this early hour who will accept the cup when it arrives in the stadium after the final whistle is blown? Sinet or Jock? The suspense is total! We both know full well that I'll be the one holding that cup. Isn't that right, Jock? You know what really bothers me most about you not playing all out in the final? What are you talking about? You're gonna have to save your father, right? That's what I'd do. Of course, I don't have any parents, so it's a little hard for me to put myself in your shoes. How do you know that? Who cares? But getting back to my question, what bothers me most is that you could even conceive of being better than me by playing all out. So I'm gonna make you an offer. Let's take a break. Clamp, I said we're taking a break. Yes, yes, of course, Arch. I don't know if you really care or not, but we're playing in the cup final two days from now. The cup final, does that mean anything to you? The thing we've all given everything for these last few months, our dream. Well, I can promise you that if you keep playing like that, the dream's gonna turn into a nightmare. If you play that badly, you're gonna be the laughing stock of the entire galaxy. Even worse, you're gonna lose a match without even playing it. What the heck's going on? Is the significance of this match disturbing you that much? If you want, we can call the whole thing off right now. I just have to give the league a call. But if you still want to set foot on that field, you'd better forget about what's at stake and concentrate on playing and playing your game. All right, let's get back at it. Rocket and Tia, I don't want to know why you're not speaking to each other anymore off the field. But on the field, you will speak to each other. Otherwise, we'll create nothing at midfield. As for you, Clamp, pay attention to what you're doing. I'm almost sorry your clone's not here anymore. Okay, Arch. I'm sorry. That's what makes it powerful. Whoever possesses the Metaflux holds a potent weapon against which the Flux Society can do nothing. And to think that I created it. If something awful happens, I'll never forgive myself. And you, any trace of Sunny? We searched every corner of Genesis Stadium. And Sunny has a transmitter that should allow us to find him no matter where he is. But it's impossible to pick up even the slightest signal. Impossible! It's like... He's trapped behind some kind of wall, very thick. It's like we have lost him. Dear old Sonny, he looks so calm. General, the prototype is ready. Good, very good.
and to think that this device will make me the most powerful man in the galaxy. Soon there will be no other flux than the Metaflux. They'll all be at my mercy. General, I still don't understand how you're going to do it, nor who will do it. Trust me, Baldwin. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. My plan is invincible. what you know about all this. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you know about Blaylock, my father, and the Metaflux? What's your role in all this? I repeat, Jock, I don't know what you're talking about. You want to know which one of us is the best, right? I already know that, Jock. I just want to prove it to you, on the field. First, to score ten goals. Okay? Okay. Excuse me, I, I was dreaming. Nice of you to come. I wasn't gonna miss out an occasion like this. This is the first time you've invited me to a restaurant since we met. Even when... Which table would you like? Well, as far as I can tell, the place isn't jam-packed. I reserved the entire restaurant for just the two of us. Might as well make the first time exceptional, right? The zip. Well, Jock, my friend, this looks like it will be even easier than I thought. <laughs> I'm definitely just as nervous as they are for this match. But I'm doing all I can to hide it. I'm sure you're convincing. You were always good at hiding your feelings. Really? You don't believe me? When we were together, did you ever say you cared about me? Well, maybe not, but I showed you I did, right? Oh, really? By leaving a Killian to go play for the Shadows with our taker and not taking me along? By leaving me alone and not sending any word for years? Adam, that's ancient history. I was young and obsessed with football. I thought it was the chance of a lifetime. 
Adam, it's not too late, is it? I'm afraid it is. What? Sorry, Arch. I waited too long for you. And that makes four. Four, two, three. I have the impression, Sinead, my friend, that you overestimated your ability. Come in. Rocket, can I ask you a personal question? Uncle? Rocket, do you love her or not? Who do you mean? Tia! Do you love her? Love? Uh, you mean? If you do, let her know now. Forget about football on this match for a minute. It'll be too late afterwards. Well, um, it's... I mean, I don't... Why? Don't make the same mistakes I did. Or your father did, Rocket. Show your feelings. Contrary to what you might think, hiding them's a lot more risky than showing them. And I know what I'm talking about. I'm exhausted. Can I turn off the lights? Sure. Good night, Tia. Good night, May.
Sweet dreams, Tia. I think I already had one. That's the stupid, stupid war that made me an orphan. That's why the fluxes have to be permanently eliminated from the galaxy. But since the Great Peace, the fluids have only been used in football. The Flux Society makes sure of that. I'm in a good position to tell you that that is all a hoax. New wars, more horrible than ever, are secretly being prepared. And the pathetic Flux Society can't do anything about it. And you're telling me that this device will eliminate the Fluxes for good? Most people with Fluxes will be present in the stadium on the day of the final. All teams that participated in the Cup, the Flux Society. 90% of the Fluxes in the galaxy will be eliminated if you do as I told you. Think it over. You'll be the last winner of the Galactic Football Cup. Okay, I'll do it. Good. Very good. You can go now. For a minute there, I really thought it wouldn't work. I told you, Baldwin. My plan is flawless. No one can stop me now. No one. Time on Galactic Football. Only a few minutes remain until the final that everyone has been waiting for. Stay on your game, whatever happens. Go, go Snow, go. go! I've made my decision, Maya, and I won't change it as long as my father is in danger. We're finally going to find out which one of us is better. If you want to see your father alive again, you have to make sure that the Snow Kids lose the final. <laughs>